Hi guys, and welcome to monthly Lenormand reading. I'm just going to tell you quickly uh, a little bit about Lenormand, just a minute. So Lenormand refers to two types of oracle decks, the Grand Jeu and Petit Jeu. The Grand Jeu, which is French for the big game, is based on a full deck of playing cards. So each card has a large variety of symbols, such as sometimes constellation, flowers, and Trojan War. But sometimes, like you're going to, maybe you're familiar with my cards, where you have the lady holding a letter, where you have the writer, snake, and so on and so forth. The Petit Jeu Lenormand, French for the little game, is a deck of 36 cards. So cards, images here are simple. As I said, a clover, a bear, a key, etc. Right? This is a simplicity in this deck that really leads to cards not being read based on the picture nor the symbol, where in tarot every line actually has a meaning and depending on combination, kind of like they end up having different meanings. Instead here, the meanings tied to the cards are fairly literal, such as luck for the clover and success for the key unlike the philosophical meanings where you have the keys sort of like entry to the gateway to the spirituality, right? In this respect, Petit Jeu cards remind me of pictorial language, almost like Egyptian hieroglyphs, right? But keep in mind that both the Grand Jeu and Petit Jeu are like in that they use card combinations to expand on the meanings of individual cards. So, you see, each card has a meaning, but one plus one doesn't make two. 1 plus 1 makes it like 5, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 makes it 15, and so on and so forth. Um, when you put all 36 cards on the table, it is sort of like giving almost like overview on how the situation can be seen. And it can actually really give you different aspects and what is like behind you, what is aside from you, etc, etc. 36 cards, as I told you, has like so many different possibilities and meanings, and it really requires a skilled reader to do that. So anyway, I think we are going to attempt to do exactly that. So why don't you get ready, sit down, take your popcorn, and let's get into your reading. Love you. <music> All right, guys, Libras, your turn for February Lenormand. So we have two main significators, the lady and the gentleman. We have some other significators that can signify people and sort of like, especially the people who um, have s special intention, let's call it this way. So do not run away, guys. Libra, I have some really good news for you. Um, this card that kind of like plopped out here, the sun, uh, this is the card deck that I'm using. Um, initially, I bought it from tarot. It is a combination of the two. It doesn't work for tarot, but it works for Lenormand really well. I especially love the fact that the sun kind of like is shining on the mountain. So that, a little bit about that a little bit later. So, do you guys want a good news or bad news first? You see this little kind of like eye over here in the corner? Information. Just please go and click on it. It's the poll asking you, do you want a good news or do you want a bad news first? So let's see what you think. All right, guys. While you're deciding this, let me try to see what you picked. You picked bad news. Alrighty. So guys, there is kind of like really interesting thing. There is some kind of connectivity that I see. Some of you are definitely um, talking about a partner. Some of you are dealing with sort of like, where do I go from here? Some of you are dealing with some challenges, like, right, you have this mountain in the past and the clouds 
kind of like have been there not knowing in which direction to go you know it's just like driving in the fog it's not the most pleasant experience really where you kind of expect everything coming to you from all the sides some of you reach to kind of like hit the wall kind of like reach the dead end like coffin kind of like being over here is maybe because there was a person in here so the snake here is coming in one two three four five in the house of the tree so usually the tree significant 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 sig signifies good gosh i cannot even speak today maybe i should stop with readings i'm just trying to get this lenormand's out i kind of like got lazy over the weekend so the snake significant signifies um, it's gener generally not necessarily a negative card, right? But it can signify trouble. It can signify the third person, right? We all know that the first lie, or we believe that the first lie was told by a serpent, right? Um, this is something that talks about truth bending. It is talking about betrayal, blame, jealousy, right? But you are no fool you kind of like seen this happening there was like a trouble in the paradise over here maybe uh there was someone with whom you're not exactly close to but there is somebody who has been lingering on for quite a while in your life which you kind of like wondered maybe even a couple of months ago where to do go with this how to how to kind of decide this right you see this tree here and the snake is in a tree house so now this certain things from the past are kind of like resurfacing right but keep in mind that this could be another woman here right it's kind of like really weird because um of course, when these cards have been kind of created, that other woman was always significating, uh, significating the woman over 40 and somebody who is unattractive, um, that's not the case. Um, this can also mean um, somebody who is interfering with your relationship, somebody who is interfering with your dating. You could be the third woman as well. So this could be a mother-in-law kind of a thing certain things are just being put to rest and this is the house of a child so the same thing that you were kind of hoping you're building you're sort of saying this cannot go the way it was this is kind of really interesting because look we have the writer and we have the anchor together so are you moving forward or are you staying which way it is and i think you are being libra sometimes it's really hard for you to make a decision maybe you're giving this option to someone you're saying look if you're staying then yeah let's make it work this kind of has to be karmic i am no longer going to put up with any crapola from you or anything because check it out one two three four this is in the house of the woman right is it yeah and this is in the house of the man so you're kind of like tired of not knowing your situation looks like some of you maybe wanted to be proposed and you wanted to go in this direction and this basically you were told no sweetie i love you to that but you know what no and i'm still not ready i still want to play the field eh, okay you know what if this is what you want thank you for letting me know i have wasted enough of my time and let's kind of like put it to the rest and for the others who actually say it, it, it can even be a temporary breakup you you might actually kind of like push somebody or maybe you're waiting for the valentines to kind of like do that because like honestly you're beaming with that sun energy and you have the sun here in the woman's house and then you have another sun that came out to kind of like highlight that you are hoping this is going to be the end of the troubles that you kind of like recently experienced and lots of things that you are proposing will depend on the will of your partner and what this partner wants i'm just telling you the issue with this partner is sort of like um it's not a person who really communicates well it's the person who is always in some kind of like distant horizons you ask them one thing and they're like a butterfly they're flying somewhere else right so I think initially they're going to kind of like shrink uh, if you put that 
proposition or as they're going to call it the ultimatum and they're going to kind of figure out that oh my gosh this is the end of my you know uh, bachelor life and I will never ever sleep with Angelina Jolie because I knew she is waiting for me it's sort of like pathetic things like that right so but I think they're going to get to their senses they're going to realize wait a minute you know what I'm going to if 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 I don't really think about it I'm going to get my new girlfriend it's going to be my my right hand and this person actually means to me they will really long for you you will long for them and what will happen after that longing and this is for those who chose yes i want a good news first you're having the ring in the heart segment in the heart house so this is clearly somebody's putting the ring on it and this is talking about reunion karmic reunion this is in the house of the sun it is karmic relationships honestly rarely work out rarely they're like filled with pain because person is moving and they're hoping to move together but they're saying no you're on the train for rome you need to be on the train for paris and you kind of need to relocate and then the tear is like that we kind of like feel in your case it's going to be interesting because look at the coffin and the cross are on the same trajectory over here, right? And it's simply saying, basically, look, you have to make a decision. I do not wish to play this game. I want to settle down. I need to know where I'm standing and I want to ring on it and deal with this. So will this person stay? Will this person go? I think chances are that this person not only will stay, but is going to go down on a knee and propose. And this might not be necessarily in the month of February, it could be, but it could happen about three to four months down the road as well, because you also have the key in the karmic house. So for you guys, this is kind of like really solution. You might be actually moving in with somebody. It might be temporarily kind of like let down, um, that everything looks like it's falling apart. But then I think as soon as it kind of turns out, because somebody might indicate that they're not interested, they don't want to go in that direction with you, or maybe they can even present it that this is really actually not good for you, sort of like they're doing you a favor. The truth is you have to just stick stick to it because look, you have the clouds right next to you and the guy here or whatever, the partner is in the house of clouds. So this is connection The both of you are sort of like feeling, tapping and wondering where to go. So in the fog, it's kind of like really easy to lose kind of like way and hence you kind of like feel this connection and the coffin. But look, this is a key of the house, absolutely key of the house. For some of you, uh, this could be the work relationship, something maybe government over here. Um, something maybe even connected with health over here, but something that has been unhealthy for a while in the past. So it's interesting for you guys, some of you guys, just to add on, you kind of like have to work on, on this reunion because if you kind of go there, you have to figure out that whatever happened, you cannot kind of like rediscuss and rediscuss or discuss. You have to kind of like put it on the table and deal with it once and forever. So the sun is going to shine, guys. Like you have sun so prominently exposed in this reading. In the middle of the winter in the northern hemisphere, this is kind of like really ridiculous. So should I stay or should I go, guys? Maybe it's going to be you who is sitting on the fence. So just so you know, if you do go forward with this karmic uh, relationship, it's going to be something good. Okay, Libras, wish you all the best. Love you guys.